Hi, I'm Brass Witty from TechNibble.com and in this video podcast I'm going to show you how to clean up a system. What we have here is a virtual machine. Uh, it's a copy of Windows within my copy of Windows and it's a very typical setup or something that I'd see on site. Uh, this thing has got a bit of adware installed on there. Some is my web search which puts toolbars and other crap everywhere and also Starware. Um, to give you an idea of what Starware does, if I was to Google computers, it puts this sort of ad with all these affiliate links down here. To clean this up, I'm going to use Technibble's Computer Repair Utility Kit, which is a collection of tools that technicians use uh, to pretty well clean up computers. It gives this right click interface and you can download that from technibble.com. To begin I'm going to remove the at the toolbars from the Internet Explorer. First thing probably to check is add remove programs. A lot of these uh, adware actually have an option just to simply remove it like this. But for example's sake I'm going to remove it manually and not use the add remove programs. The first tool that I'll be using is hijack this, which many technicians already know about. It's designed for cleaning out files that stick themselves to browsers and it's just generally cleaning out spyware and other nasties. Right now the Internet Explorer main page is set to Starware start page which we don't want so we'll remove that. Same thing, the search assistant is set to Starware so again we don't want that. My web search, we don't want that. It's also a good idea to actually run hijack this on, a, on your own system just to see what a clean setup is, what should be there and what isn't. Um, not everything here is uh, dodgy. A lot of it is legitimate and does come on pretty much any system. Uh, this next one is my web search search assistant, so we'll clear that. Same again. Starware again. Now this is Java, which is allows you to run Kazar and view some things on the internet, so we'll probably want to keep that. There's no file for that one, so it's pointless. I'll clear that one. That's Windows Live, so that's fine. Java again, Java again. Starware, Toolbar, we want to get rid of. Java, My Web Search, My Web Search, My Web Search, My Web Search. MSN Messenger, that's fine to run. Nlight is part of the setup, so that's fine. LimeWire is fine. My web search we want to get rid of. We can clear that out because the file's missing. The file's missing there. MSN is fine. MSN. My web search we don't want. And my web search we don't want. Now, I'm going to save a log just so I can show you something shortly. And I'm going to fix these. Do you want to fix the selected items? Do you want to permanently? Yes. Okay, and if I scan that again, you can see most of, except for my web search, is gone. We'll get rid of that one again. I have to, that's a service. I'll have to remove that one later. Okay. There are many listings online that can tell you what hijack this does and uh, what things are potentially bad, but there's actually a shorter way to do it for people that are just new to using it. There's a site called hijackthis.de that allows us to paste a log in there. So I'm going to copy and paste this log that I have, paste it in the box, and press analyze. and it shows us what the ratings are, what people think, whether it's good, bad, or it should be removed. Uh, as you can see, all the my web search that I mentioned before, they say it's bad, whereas other things that are running, Java is good, and so on. 
So that's handy if you haven't had a lot of experience with hijack this. Next thing I'm going to look at is what starts up on the system. I'm going to use msconfig, which is installed on pretty much every system, and it shows Java is running, Messenger will start up, and LimeWire will start up. Okay, so that's fine. There's nothing particularly malicious in there. Now, if you remember before, I came across that my web search service, which I couldn't get rid of from hijack this. So under services, I can actually unswitch that one, so it won't power back up. Apply, close, exit without restart. Now another thing that's essential to speeding up a computer is stopping programs from starting up uh, at when the system boots. There's a lot of unneeded programs. LimeWire is one of them. MSN Messenger is another. I've had clients where this list, all these icons, will go right out to about here. I've just have applications that started at startup. You can do it back in MS Config, which I showed you before, and untick a few of them there. But these two, I'm going to do the proper way. So I've opened up MSN Messenger, Tools, Options, General. Open Windows Live Messenger main window when Windows Live Messenger starts and automatically run. Okay, so we'll close that, close, and that. So this now won't start up when the system starts up. So my clients can still find it. I usually just put the icon on the desktop so they can just switch it on when they want it. Same thing goes with LimeWire. Tools, Options, Advanced, System Boot. You can choose whether or not to automatically run live when your computer starts. Run on System Startup? No. Now after a lot of surfing, a system builds up a lot of crap on it. Just by cookies, website files, and such. So I'm going to use another tool called ATF Cleaner. It's a really handy little tool and it helps clean up temporary internet files. Now things I want to leave is Windows Temp, current user temp, all users temp. With cookies, uh, sometimes I do it and sometimes I don't, it's depending whether the client has cookies that they want to remain logged into certain sites. In this case I will clear it. Temporary internet files clear. History I usually don't clear. Most of the time they do want to keep all their history and prefetch I'll get rid of, Java cache I'll get rid of, recycle bin, and I'm empty selected. So this is going to take a few seconds and it cleaned out and freed up 412 meg. That's that's pretty average, but I have had times where it's cleaned up gigs and gigs, 15 gig easily. You can also do it for browser specific stuff like Firefox, which you can see is installed. Firefox, I'll leave all that as it is. Now I'm going to check the processes using Process Explorer. Process Explorer is similar to uh, Control Alt Delete showing the processes, but it just does it with a lot more detail. I typically use it to find viruses and other nasties. In this case, this is all standard system stuff, SVC host. With SVC host as well, it's also a good idea to check where it's located. A lot of the time, there will be multiple SVC hosts running and viruses take advantage of this by putting a SVC host in, say, system or in another file, another folder, and it looks like it's just the standard SVC host. So keep an eye on that. That's Java running. Java, MSN Messenger, LimeWire. This one's the launcher that I'm running for the right click menu down here. And this is Process Explorer itself. So that's all clean. Often you can find file names with, with random names or stuff that's not complete without a description on company name may be suspicious. In this case, it's just this system's clean. Well, that's a very basic system cleanup, and as you can see, 
the toolbars are gone and all the other crapware that shows up. As I mentioned before, this is a very typical setup, but I have had systems where there's just so much to clean up, but this is just a little bit of everything just to show you the very basics. To do a proper job, I'd install the Windows updates as you should, and of course install an antivirus because this one hasn't got one installed at the moment. And finally clean up the files that my web search and starware left over. These would normally be removed if I used the add remove programs, but since I didn't, I need to manually delete them. And now they're gone. And finally, reboot the computer just to make sure the services that we switched off earlier stay off. That's all for this podcast. Thank you very much for listening.